announcement. We did get another one on Thursday because Mikey Williams uh, reached a plea agreement in his felony gun case. They held a prospect pleaded guilty to one count of making criminal threats after previously being charged with nine felonies. According to the agreement that's been reached with the San Diego County District Attorney's Office, uh, Mikey Williams is going to have to attend uh, behavioral therapy, uh, gun safety classes, anger management classes, and complete 80 hours of community service. And if he does all of that uh, before his sentencing date, which is now set for August 12th, 2024, um, this felony charge will be reduced to a misdemeanor, meaning Mikey Williams could avoid being a convicted felon and everything that goes hand in hand with that, as long as he spends the next nine months doing what he's been told to do. So now what? Obviously, he is signed and actually enrolled as a student at the University of Memphis right now, taking online classes from California. The question people are asking around the Memphis program is, does this clear Mikey Williams to play for the Tigers this season? or next season, or ever. How do you think Memphis should handle this? Well, uh, that, this is, when you consider all the facts of the case uh, as they stand right now, but also what you've previously harped on plenty, GP, um, yeah, uh, I, I think Memphis should not disregard uh, what did still happen the, the the most important action of all and that is firing a gun into a car filled with people and not give uh not not play it so lightly um i still think that you know mikey williams isn't uh draped in glory here uh even if the case for him personally is heading toward a resolution here that is a lot better than it looked for a long long time uh, you were someone that said that you wouldn't have Williams ever play for Memphis. Uh, is that where you're still at as of this moment? And obviously, this is going to be something that you dive into heavy on your, I would think, on your show uh, in Memphis later on today. Um, where do you stand now that we have this latest update? I am happy, I guess, for Mikey Williams in the sense that um, anytime you are charged with nine felonies and you can reach an agreement that will possibly leave you eventually with zero felonies on your record and no jail time. Um, that's a good, that's a good development for you. Uh, so I, I good for Mikey Williams, I guess it doesn't change the fact that he has been credibly accused of firing a gun into a car filled with six people and the bullet hit the car. It only didn't hit somebody because he got lucky it only didn't kill somebody because he got lucky. And the testimony is that there was a disagreement slash altercation slash incident inside the home. These people then went outside the home. Mikey Williams had told them at some point, according to the testimony, you better get to stepping or you'll leave with bullet holes. And then, according to the testimony, as the car was driving away, it was struck by a bullet that multiple witnesses have said uh, came from a gun that Mikey Williams shot. Simply put, I don't think any self-respecting university should have somebody who has been credibly accused of firing a gun into a car filled with six people. Um, I don't think any self-respecting university should let that person represent them. Memphis would... Um, it would be embarrassing if they allowed Mikey Williams to play under these circumstances. And it's why my opinion on this hasn't changed at all. Uh, keep in mind, Mikey Williams still to this day has never said he didn't fire that gun, at least not publicly for the record. His attorney, to my knowledge, has never said Mikey Williams didn't fire that gun. Penny Hardaway, to my knowledge, has never said Mikey Williams didn't fire that gun. So I'm assuming that he did. And given that Memphis is one of the uh, cities in this country most devastated by gun violence, it would be shameful to bring in to this city somebody who currently has a felony gun charge still on the record for doing what it is Mikey Williams uh, allegedly did. They should move on. He should never play for Memphis. All right. Well, we'll see if that winds up actually being – well, real quick, and then we can move on. Do you think that winds up – does it go this way, or does he play for Memphis? 
if you had to predict? I don't think he ever plays for Memphis. Okay. I, I don't know why Memphis hasn't already cut ties. I would have a while ago because as long as he is still technically a Memphis Tiger, every headline connected to this is Memphis Tiger freshman Mikey Williams, guns, 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 guns. I don't have to remind you the NBA franchise in Memphis is dealing with a gun issue. And the city at large is, again, devastated, just ripped apart by gun violence. This ain't something else Memphis needs. And so I'm hopeful that the people in a position of power to make these types of decisions on that campus are smart enough to realize that um, Mikey Williams is a talented basketball player, but um, sometimes that, that can't be the most important thing. Kansas earlier this year dismissed from its program a former McDonald's All-American who was charged with a very serious crime. Memphis now has a you know, top 50 recruit who has been convicted of a very serious crime. Um, if Kansas can move on from Arterio Morris, Memphis should uh, move on from Mikey Williams. And I suspect that that Memphis will.